Add to your Crusader costume with a pair of gauntlets you make yourself from leather. With the instructions contained in this video program, you will learn how to select and cut the proper leather, how to decorate the leather and add hardware to create great looking gauntlets. Of course, you can personalize them and make them any color you desire. To make a gauntlet in the Crusader style, I'm going to use some eight to nine ounce vegetable tan cowhide. And as I like to do, I've made a template out of the bag stiffener to uh, trace it on to the leather. This is especially important because here we'll be making two of these, one for each arm. And of course, uh, you will probably end up making more than one pair. So now I will very carefully place my pattern and uh, with my tracing stylus, in this case it's a scratch all I will go around the outside of my pattern. I will also mark along both sides, you'll notice I have some one quarter inch holes. I'm going to uh, put some one quarter inch brass conchos or some brass uh, eyelets in these holes. That will be for securing the gauntlet to your arms. And I'm also going to mark for some decorative rivets I'm going to put on here. If you want, you could use a pattern on tracing vellum or tracing film to do this. And now I'm using a sharp knife and you'll notice I'm using a straight edge to cut my leather. And I like to use a straight edge whenever I can, especially when it's a straight uh, line as you see that I'm doing here. And now I will very carefully cut the ends with my knife. This could be done with the shears, although since this is a rather heavy leather and the lines are, are uh, curved but not curved very tightly, then I can do it with a knife quite easily. Next, I will use a corner punch to round the four corners. You could do this with the shears, but I find it much easier to do it with the corner punch. Next, I will punch the one quarter inch holes for the eyelets right on the marks that we made. And now, since I'm going to uh, put some decorative rivets on here, I will punch those holes as well using a 1 8 inch punch. I have decided that I would like to put the design of a phoenix onto my gauntlets, so I will dampen it with water quite thoroughly. I have decided to put the image of a phoenix on here, so I will locate it 
in the proper position. Uh, please note I have traced this onto some tracing film and now I will very carefully begin tracing all of the lines on my pattern. This looks about right, so I will continue to trace. And now we can continue. And now, with my swivel knife, I will cut all of the lines very carefully that we just traced. And now I will allow my piece to dry and I will apply some dye to give a metallic look to my gauntlet. I'm going to use a silver water stain and I will apply this with a sponge, uh, rubbing it in very well. It may require several applications to uh, get the color you want, but you'll just keep rubbing it in until you get that nice silver finish. You may need to let it dry and then come back later and apply a second coat of the water stain. Here is another set of gauntlets I'm working on. You'll notice on this one now I have done a diamond pattern here with a basket stamp design in it. And I will now use some EcoFlow Super Sheen. I'm going to resist this part in the center where I have the basket stamping. And I'm going to then antique the entire piece. So I will very carefully now brush in the uh, super sheen. Now I will allow this to dry uh, and then I will give it a second coat. Then I will allow it to dry overnight before I apply the antique stain. I have allowed my silver water stain to dry overnight and now I'm going to take some black cova color and I will paint the phoenix with the black cova color and uh, it may take you know several coats of this to get a good result so just take your time using a good brush and brush in the black cova color. After I have allowed the Super Sheen to dry thoroughly on this piece. I will now take some mahogany antique. You can use any color you would like. And we'll rub it on there and rub it in thoroughly. And then with a folded paper towel, we can take off all of the excess of the mahogany antique. It may be necessary to come back and put some, some more on some spots if it's a little bit lighter.
And now we have another look. After our dye has dried, we can now install eyelets. These are used to reinforce the holes where we will lace the uh, gauntlet together. We'll turn it over and we will put it into the anvil, as you can see. And with the setter and the mallet, we can set the eyelet into place. And now we will do that for all of the eyelet holes. And now for decorative purposes, we can add some rapid rivets, as you can see. And we will do this all the way along both edges. Next, we will use a number one edge beveler and we will bevel all around the edge, front and back. Next, with a damp sponge, I will dampen the edge all the way around. And with a edge slicker, I will slick the edge all the way around until it gets nice and smooth. And now to the mahogany colored gauntlet, I will apply dark brown edge paint very carefully all the way around. After you have finished with all the hardware and everything has dried, we can now shape the gauntlet to fit the arm. Uh, best thing to do is take a sponge and dampen the back quite well. Allow the water to penetrate for a few minutes and then you can roll the leather and it will hold its shape. And now we can let it dry in that position. And now for the average size arm, cut about two feet of a matching color suede lace or latigo lace and lace it up as you can see as you would a pair of shoes. <laughs>